All right, guys, welcome back to the second episode of Eridani. I finally figured out how to pronounce the name. Um, this game is made by Ben Olding. He's given me full permission to record this game, and it's walked through using a special version of it. Please watch video one for more information. So in this episode, we are going to go for this map. It's a decent map. Now, the way I'm doing it may not be the way you want to do it, so... That's up to you. This map, the enemy does have a base. Luckily, it's quite uh, easy to build uh, the materials you need. And I have to construct this later in the game, probably next next uh, video. I need. Level three for that. So, we've got enough for a 20 fleet. Well, it does give good advice. Um, I usually don't listen to the power center thing. Well, it is a good idea, the in the early game, well, in early game, it really doesn't help too much. In late game, it does, but it requires a decent fleet to do this. Luckily, I have enough, sh I can build enough ships now. The best ship in the game is, of course, the le tech level 5 orbital devastator, which has a very long range beam that can just wipe out things from orbit, so. It's good at that. Okay, so time to attack the enemy. out of the way early is usually the best idea.
power. Because I did what I said that you shouldn't do. This is where the AI originally comes in. Each map I will show you where the AI also originally comes in. So we can, so if you're into quick work or whatever, that's the best place you can go. There's plenty of tactics. My tactics typically just defending, building up giant fleets, and then just bashing them to pieces. I mean, that's kind of the aim of this game, but I've, I've been successful playing other styles. And this is the scanner that we're talking about. Gotta make sure you have plenty of extra equipment. And while this the at first this is a great uh, defense for your base, this is the much better defense for your planet and your ships because it has a much much longer range. So once those ships start popping out, uh, and we get enough of them, I'll be putting these to rest, replacing them with thr with mining drones, which are of course mining this rather large asteroid field. Uh, I'll put the, these things to rest, and then fill it with that. I'm popular today, apparently. While this isn't available now, it will be later available in the game, and I will show you exactly how to use it, and what each of its things are worth, and value to add, and things like that. At the moment, we can also occupy another planet, and get more power money. What I would suggest if you're running out of power is 
taking over this planet, just building a bunch of power reactors and some mines, and they'll uh, generate enough resources for your main planet to take care of. So, this thing, this place does build the impact blaster, which is tech level four, is actually really, really good. It just it uh, also pushes enemy ships back. Uh oh. There we go. Now we can. I'm going to send these over. Take out that mine because more ships are going to show up, and these are the these are uh, nothing the enemy has really is a match for my ships. I just don't like losing any of my ships going against the enemy. Well, there's that mission. Yeah.